the virtual space is offering quite a number of opportunities for business. These young people have seen opportunity presented by the same to actually do music distribution. Here's the story. Uh, on music distribution is an aggregating system that links artists or content creators to streaming platforms or retailer streaming platforms. How does it work? An artist or content owner creates an account on Omziki, uploads their content. You must own that content. All have a license to upload that content. We are so strict on that because we are protecting copyright owners. So when you distribute or upload your music on Omziki, you'll notice that you'll be asked a lot of uh, metadata. That is the artist name, producer, composer, who is the copyright owner, the publisher, which is all under your names or the, uh, the record label names. After that, and after distributing your music, it will take about three days for your music to start going live on all the 250 stores Omziki distributes to. What happens when your music is out there? Your fans will start having those releases or music on their streaming platforms like Spotify or Boomplay or Apple Music. They will start listening to your music. It will grow your brand. You will be closer to your fans because they have your content on their fingertips, on their phones, on laptops, desktops. So what happens? When your music is streamed, or downloaded, these towers generate income or revenue, which we call royalties. These royalties will be paid back to your dashboard or the account you opened up on Omuziki. Now, when you have available balance eligible to be withdrawn, those are the sales confirmed by the stores, you'll be able to, to withdraw that money using either PayPal, of which PayPal doesn't work in Uganda, you can use bank wire transfer, has no limit, or use mobile money, which we are able to be used in uh, over eight countries in Africa. However, mobile money has a limit depending on the telecom cap limit. Like Uganda, we normally cap at around three million. That is uh, eight hundred dollars. So that is how you gain from your music online. Our music distribution uh, came to life due to many factors and challenges. Uganda, East Africa and Africa at large uh, after experiencing a, a very huge big gap between the systems that artists in Africa have been using, the likes of DistroKid, TuneCore, CD Baby and uh, many more, which have created a very big gap between we the Africans or Ugandans with their systems. What do I mean? Uh, when people have been using these systems or the artists, uh, they are charged highly. Uh, we are not given 360 features for us to enjoy these services. So this was the main factor that inspired us to give birth to Omziki distribution. And besides that, the pay rate of stores uh, which these companies have been paying to our artists in Africa has been having a very huge gap that uh, I, I don't want to use the word steal but they have been chopping a lot of money in royalties you find an artist is supposed to get like 20,000 USD the, the, the artist is given $500 so that gap of uh, I would call it even fraud they're frauding Africans so all these challenges inspired us to come up with Omziki distribution, to have something rooted from Africa, rooted from Uganda, an artist that will enjoy, use, 360. If they need support, they can even give us a call. Even right now, pick a call and answer an artist, whatever challenge they are facing. But they can't make that call to, the, to such companies, wherever they are. We have a lot of unique selling services uh, for example i'll start with the support uh, these companies uh, artists write to them an email they can take 
weeks to reply or even months or even if they reply but with us a person uh, writes today they they are expected to get a reply at least today or within 24 hours besides that the pay rate uh, when you look at the pay rate these people have been chopping a lot of money we've we've, we've seen from the feedback and uh, the people we've migrated from those systems to our system we found that there are many artists that have not been pushing but they're earning a lot so our pay rate is high than their pay rate on top of that we work with the artist we work with the artist we move with the artist from strategies to pitching to marketing to everything even sponsoring their events so, uh, a content owner or creator out there would be wondering how do i gain well besides copywriting and licensing your content you're earning out of your content from spotify to boomplay to soundcloud to tiktok to facebook snapchat all these stores and from your content now when they earn from your content they share what they've collected to the content owner where they give the content owner the biggest percentage they take a smaller percentage to maintain their systems it is the same thing that will happen to omuziki omuziki will also take a percentage to maintain the fact that an artist cannot put music direct to these stores an artist is supposed to go through an aggregating system like omuziki to put their content on that on those platforms so when the money comes back it comes back to the distributor or music distribution where you can withdraw your it is generally accepted that we live in fairly tough economic times and in times like these businesses tend to seek for credit but not just businesses but even individuals or households now there are certain things you need to know as a borrower that will help you ease life in the space of credit Uh, viewers, if you are a borrower or a potential borrower, please ensure that you meet your credit obligations and maintain a positive credit profile at the Bureau. Now, where we are heading, you'll have nowhere to hide. Yes, if you try to default, you will jeopardize your chances of acquiring credit and you will be eliminated from the credit industry permanently because if you are a bad borrower no lender will be willing to work with you or to extend credit to you because no lender wants to lose their money yes so ensure that you maintain a positive credit profile at the bureau and always check your credit report at least on a quarterly basis. We are coming up with a solution as a Metropole called Cristobal, which will enable you to check your credit profile wherever and whenever you are. Thank you. My name is Henry Otheno. I am the CEO and founder of Tusafishe. Tusafishe is a Swahili word, which means let us clean. So our work is uh, in cleaning of water. We install water purification systems for vulnerable communities in rural places. We install water purification systems in places like refugee camps and rural schools. In Uganda and most of African countries, the traditional way of purifying water is through boiling it. Unfortunately, this is very hard for big communities like a school. So most parents out there are pre purifying water for their children at home. Unfortunately, when they go to school, they get unpurified water. So our technology was created in a way that it will make it easy for schools to purify water even without boiling. Because just imagine if a school was burning charcoal or firewood to purify water, how much carbon they would be emitting to the atmosphere. So we created a technology that uses Moringa seed powder to purify water. 
and uh, these systems can supply up to 2,000 liters for a school, but we also have another system that can purify up to 50,000 liters in a day for a place like a refugee camp. We, we have three categories of filters. We have one which is domestic, so when we install the large community filters, we also train women to install smaller filters. And then we have the institutional filter, which I said, which works in a school. And then we have community filter, which works for bigger communities like refugee camps. But uh, like I said, these purification systems use Moringa seed powder mainly as uh, uh, the medium for purification. Most of us have heard about uh, the importance of Moringa as uh, a plant. Some people use Moringa for nutritional benefits. Some people use Moringa for medicine. But for us, we use Moringa seed powder as a coagulant, but we also use it in the process of purifying water to neutralize the microorganisms from water. Now, we use Moringa seed powder and granite together in a combination. We use Moringa seed powder to, to charge the granite. Granite is negatively charged, but uh, Moringa seed powder contains proteins that are positively charged. So it is this positive charge that charges the granite. And then when you pour a dirty water that contains uh, uh, microorganisms, the charge sticks the microorganisms together in uh, what we call coagulation. It only does not coagulate, but it also neutralizes the bacteria. In this way, the bacteria cannot reproduce. If bacteria is not able to reproduce in your body, then it means that it cannot cause diseases in your body. And that is how we purify the water. So the water that comes out of this system is not only clean, like pure of sediments, but it is also pure of microorganisms that would cause diseases. The system can purify up, to, can remove up to 99% of all the impurities in water, including microorganisms. That story brings us to the end of this week's edition of Manama Market. Thank you for being part of the show. We treasure your participation and your audience. Now, for these and more stories, please visit us on our digital platforms and let's have the conversation going, as usual. I've been your host, Charles Boji. Now, from me and team, we'd like to wish you a very good evening. God bless.